and Renee here. If you're looking for a 30, 35 minute upper body workout, then you are in the right place. In today's workout, I simply have several sets of dumbbells and my ropeless jump rope. But remember, you do not need the ropeless jump rope. You can still do the arm movements. No worries, you'll get the same cardio benefit. So I have a set of three pound weights, five pound weights, 20, one 25 pound weight in case I want that. I'm not sure I'm gonna take it up to that level a set of 10 pound weights and a set of 15 pound weights. So that's what I have here. You do not need all of these weights, maybe just a light and a heavy or a medium and a heavy, something like that. So whatever you have, make it work. You could use water bottles, but make this work for you. No excuses. Let's build some muscle, some strength and feel our best self. So let's start with a quick little warm up. So today's workout is just over, you know, 30 minutes, about 35 minutes with a little arm burnout at the end and it's gonna be fun. And we have three circuits. Each circuit has five moves, and each move we will complete for one minute. The last move of every circuit, stop your feet, take your arms overhead, I'll tell you in just a second what I was gonna tell you. The last move of every circuit is going to be jump roping. But you can always march it out and keep this entire workout low impact. I give you those options as we go. So no, worry, no worries, you do not need to make this high impact. Just stick with me and I will show you modifications as we move along. Oh, I also have a large pillow here. We are gonna be doing some chest presses and I like to be a little elevated so I use a pillow, but you do not need that either. So it's totally up to you, the equipment that you need today and we're just going to have a great at home upper body strength workout. So let's do a quick little stretch just to open everything up nice and just moving through. If you need a longer warm up, pause this video, head on over to my mobility stretch warm up playlist. We're just gonna kind of shake it out, get the blood flowing, and I'm gonna tell you the first five moves. So I'm gonna show you the first circuit. You keep moving, get in your mind right, and let's get started here. Okay, so I am going to start with, um, we're starting on the floor. I'm gonna have my upper body elevated, so I'm on top of my pillow here, and I'm going to take one weight in each hand, so I'm starting with 15, and we're gonna press and lower. That's the first move. Then the second move, we you can either keep both weights, and we're just going to do a tricep right here. Just a nice skull crusher working your triceps. You can also do this with just one weight and you will hold the weight like this and you'll bend and extend. You're keeping your elbows in the same spot and you're just hinging so you can feel your triceps work, okay? And then we're going to move along to narrow chest presses. So I have two weights here, but you could keep one weight and then just elbows down by your side and press up. If you're going to use one weight, you can either do it in this direction or you can do it right here in this direction, okay? So either way, your elbows will just be by your body. And then we're gonna flip over and you are going to pike your hips up and just do mat hops, just like this, okay? Heels come up towards your glutes and we'll make your way up to standing jump rope. That's our five moves, that's it. Majority is done on the floor. We're really focusing on our chest and our triceps. So get a sip of water and I'm gonna start the timer and we're gonna get started. It's a fun one today. I love working upper body. All right, you have 10 seconds. So find your weight, find your position. Here we go. Three, two, one, go. Press and lower. Okay, so remember we're here for one minute. Squeeze into your chest and make this slow and controlled. You don't want momentum here. You want to make sure that you're working your muscles. As you know, I talk about this in all of my workouts. You want that mind to muscle connection. So you get the most out of these workouts. And by going slow and using your entire muscle there to push the weight up and then you slowly bring it down. So again, still control it by using the corners of your chest in this position. Breathe through this, nice work. Okay, you have just about 25 seconds left and then we're gonna go into those skull crushers, okay? So start thinking about the weight. If you need to transition to another weight, totally fine. Just quickly transition and we're gonna keep moving along. I love working upper body circuit style. It's just such a nice way to burn out our arms, our chest, our back, our shoulders. A few more, Woo! feeling this. Yes, last one. Okay, so bring your weights together just like this or you can go down to one weight and you wanna think over your head. That's what I like to think, okay? And try not to have your wrist break. You wanna keep them nice and even, and elbows are going forward. Whew. Nice work, yes. So you can see you're hinging. Your upper arms are staying right where they're at. Wow, 
I'm holding 15 in each hand, so 30 pounds total here. And it is tough. You have just about 30 seconds. But I love working my triceps. It really helps to make your arms look muscular and strong, tone them up, lean them out. Whenever people ask about the backs of their arms, this is one of my favorite moves to do. Yes, so you have 10 seconds. And we're going into the narrow chest press. So you can keep your weights just like they are, and then we're just gonna bend our elbows right by our rib cage. Last one. Okay, ready? Elbows bend and extend. Woo! Feeling this. And yes, yeah, so you're gonna feel this in your chest, but you're also going to still feel this in your triceps because your elbows are right by your side body. So it's almost like doing a tricep push up on your back. That's what I kind of want you to picture. It's another version of a tricep push-up on your back. We do have tricep push-ups later on in this workout because we want to make sure that we're getting the backs of our arms. 30 seconds, breathe. If your weights are getting heavy, you can always drop set, just quickly switch the weight. Or maybe you pause a little longer at the top. And I wasn't sure 15s were gonna be heavy enough for me, but they certainly are. Woo! Yes, so try to keep your lower spine pressed into the floor, pressed into your mat if you're on a mat. Navel pushes in, so you're working your core here. <sighs> Last one. Okay, set your weights down. You will need them again on round two. So set them down, and we are coming into our up and over hops. Yep, just like that. Okay, so you're in a little piped position here, and your heels just kick up towards your glute, and you hop over. So the weight is going into your shoulders and your arms, and you're just lightly tapping on the balls of your feet. I like to look at my hands so you keep your chin a little bit off your chest. You don't want to hurt your neck though, so just be careful with that. Woo! Hamstrings as well, because of the motion with your lower body. Nice work, pull your navel up and in each and every time to keep your hips lifted. Breathe through this. Yes, keep going. You have just about 10 more seconds and we're grabbing our jump rope or no jump rope at all. Woo! One more, great job. Okay, grab my jump rope. You can simply march it out or I'm gonna hop because why not? Okay, I like our arms moving in this motion because it's going to help strengthen your arms at the same time as doing cardio. Yes, I'm breathing heavy. Woo! Two cardio moves in a row. And burning out our upper body. We move quick. After this, we're already done with round one, circuit one. So one more round here with these four moves. Now you know the moves, you just learned them. So let's perfect them. Let's get deeper into each muscle group. Ready, legs out, in. I just love to change it up. Keeps things interesting. Press out with your inner thighs, squeeze in with your inner thighs. A few more. Yes, right here. Three, two, one, done. Okay, set those off to the side. Make your way down to the floor. Grab your weights. Chest press. Press and lower. Woo! Yes. Chin off your chest here. Elbows coming to 90 degrees. And then press right back up. Remember, core engaged. So navel presses into your spine, which then engages your core even deeper. And you want to press your spine into the mat, but because your core is activating. And you smile. 30 seconds, and then skull crushers is up next. Yes. Nice work. You're stronger than you think, so press through it. Remember, slow on the way down, press up slow on the way up. So control and squeeze through those nice corners of your chest here. You have eight more seconds. Whew. Yes, last one. Hold at the top. Maybe you keep both weights rotated, arms bend and extend. Remember, if you need to change your weight out, do so. Choose the correct weight for you and your body in this moment. But just know that this is it. Last time with these moves, okay? Last time through with this circuit. Woo! 
and you're coming up to your first minute break in no time. Just three more moves here. Woo! Breathe, smile, 25 seconds. Remember, keep your upper arms right where they're at. You're just hinging from your elbow to activate your triceps, backs of your arms. 15 seconds. Yes. Nice work. You're at five seconds. Breathe. Last one. Hold it at the top. Elbows bent and press. Yes. Wow. My triceps are on fire and this move does not let them rest. Not at all. Okay. Control both directions once again. Don't let the weights push your arms down. You want to control that motion. We have 40 seconds right here. Yes. Nice. Breathe through this. Woo. I have to focus. Having trouble talking right now, make sure that you keep your form. Shoulders away from your ears. Elbows, graze your side body. Squeezing and tight. You have 20 seconds. Make you close your eyes. Know that this is almost done. After this, you have two more moves. They're more cardio intensive. <sighs> Breathe through. <sighs> One more, all the way down. Press it all the way up. Okay, great job. Flip on over, pike position. And here we go, hop up and over, up and over. Abs are in, glutes are lifted, heels towards your glute. Pull your navel away from your thighs. Yes, I like to use my mat as a base so I know what I'm hopping up and over. It just helps to keep me accountable so my hops don't get too tight, too close. Beautiful. Keep going. 30 seconds. Yes. Upper body is toast. And we still have two more circuits to go. But no worries. New moves. Breathe. Remember, pull your navel up away from your thighs every time. Focus there. Yes. Wow. Last one. Okay. Make your way up to standing. Woo. Trip in here. Grab these. You can march or hop wherever you're at. It's amazing. After this, you have a one minute break. Yes. You can do it. Elbows by your side body. Maybe you're not holding anything in your hands and that's okay. Just do the motion. 40 seconds. Then one minute break. You'll get a sip of water. Land softly. Protect your joints. Right now, stay focused. 30 seconds. Smile. Chest is proud. Woo! You're already one circuit in. Only two circuits to go. Yes, after this, you've been working out with me for 10 minutes. You ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one, done. Okay, quick sip. Wow, okay, you let your heart rate come down. Remember, don't just sit, kind of keep moving around. I'm gonna show you the next circuit here. We're standing. I'm going to actually grab five pounds. I might need to go down to threes, and we're doing around the world. So just like that, palms stay forward, and you just continue that way. And then we have hammer curls, which I am going to switch to my 10 pound weights. For those, your palms will be in, elbows by your side, and just curl. And then we will come down, you have two options. You can pipe your hips up just like this, and you bend like that, or donkey kicks like that. Either way, you'll work your shoulders. And then we have tricep push-ups, either on your toes or on your knees. Just make sure that your entire body moves with you and then jump rope. Okay, let's go, one minute's over. Here we go, around the world. Nice, okay. So you have a soft bend of your knees. Feet are just about hip width apart and parallel, and I want you to engage your core. So navel pulls in nice and tight. Your tailbone is heavy toward the floor. Shoulders are away from your ears. 
and you're working your arms. Nice, slow, controlled. This is where the controlled movement comes in because of course, in this motion, you could let momentum take over and then you're not gonna get the same muscle burn. But I want you to pretend like you're moving through mud or some thick substance and you need to slowly pull that there, okay? Because you wanna get the most out of your workouts and how do you do that? You do that by staying present and in the moment. Eight seconds left, working your entire upper body. I love the rotation in the shoulder. One more, all the way up and all the way down. Okay, grab your weights for hammer curls. Here we go, bend and extend. Okay, so I have 10 pound weights here, shoulders away from my ears, elbows by my side, feet are in the same position that they just were. Wow, my biceps are on fire from everything that we've been doing. So I might have to drop set and go down. We'll see. I'm gonna try to stick with these tens, but make sure that your form stays amazing, okay? You wanna keep your form in check, your body alignment, and if at any time you feel that going, that's when you need to drop the weight. Form is so much more important. It'll help prevent injury, and it helps you work your muscles properly. So if you're ever losing that, then you need to drop your weight. That's more important. Yes, nice. Okay, then we're going down into donkey kicks or you will be into piped push-ups, okay? Last one. Okay, down, I'm gonna do donkey kicks, but you can choose whatever it is that you like to do, okay? So similar to the mat jumps, working similar muscle groups here, just a little different. You can always do those push-ups, the pipe tips up, you bend your elbows. You do whatever works for you. That's why I always give you options. You can alternate back and forth. Still working the same muscle groups. By doing the donkey kicks, that's a little more cardio intensive. But no worries, you're getting your cardio in either way. And since we're moving quickly, we're keeping our heart rate up the entire time. So we're building muscle and working our cardio. Yes, a few more. Last one. Great job. Okay, so we're going into, whew, I gotta move my pillow. Okay, we're going into tricep push-ups, either on your toes or on your knees. The goal here is to simply make sure your elbows squeeze your side body, and then you press up. And to make sure that you're moving in one straight line. Yes, nice. I am on my knees. My arms are toast. If I go on my toes, I'm gonna lose my form. And that's not good, okay? So you wanna keep your hips in line with your body. If you're on your knees like me, I keep my hips pushed forward, okay? Yes, elbows are just grazing your, your side body. They're just lightly going next to it. Elbows behind you, wow. My triceps are already on fire from circuit one. Now they're even more so. Just one more move in this circuit and round one will be done. Okay, that's it. Up to standing, jump rope or not, march or bounce. Whatever it is that you're working for today. Whatever works for you. Breathe, okay. Those are your five moves, you've got them. Now we're gonna do them again. One more time. Make sure that you really get into your muscles each and every time. Burn them out. Nice work. After these jump ropes, we're halfway through. Then we do have a fun little burnout at the very end. But we're halfway through the circuit portion. Yes. Okay, 20 seconds of jump roping. And then we're gonna set these down and grab your lighter set of weights. I'm grab my five pounds. Otherwise, my form starts to go. I don't want to have your 10 seconds. Smile. Okay, set those down. Grab my fives. Here we go, around the world. Yes. Okay, so your palms are staying facing forward the whole time. Your hips are heavy, and navel pulled up and in. Soft bend of your knees and your feet are brought hip width. 
You're finding nice rotation in your shoulder. Yes, breathe. Beautiful, 30 seconds. Remember, pretend as if you're moving through some thick substance. So you control the movement on your way up and control it on your way down. I feel my shoulders, my upper back the most, but of course you're gonna feel your biceps and triceps. You have 10 more seconds. Then I'm gonna drop these weights and grab my 10 pounds for hammer curls. Last one all the way down. Okay, I'm gonna set these down, but keep them close by in case I have to drop set for them. Yes. Okay, round two, circuit two, we're well underway here. Slow on the way up, slow on the way down. Elbows are right by your side body. Palms are facing in. Breathe. Nice work, nice job. Yes. We're in this together. I'm here for you. You're here for me. We have 25 more seconds. Slow on the way up, slow on the way down. Get every part to work for you. And then we have donkey kicks or piped push-ups next. Of course, burning out your shoulders, your arms. Yes. Okay, last one all the way down. Okay, make your way down to your mat. Hips are piped. I'm gonna do some donkey kicks. Yes. Okay. After this, whew, we have tricep push-ups and then jump rope. So after this, just two more moves until you get a minute break before our final circuit. So mentally go to wherever you need to go and get there. And tell yourself you're gonna recommit and refocus to finishing strong with me. 30 minutes, you can and you will. I promise you've got this. You're getting stronger each and every time. Pull your navel up and in. 15 seconds. Yes. 10 seconds. Woo! One more. Okay. Oh, we're staying down. I'm coming to my knees. Ready? Bend and extend. Nice. Okay. Tricep push ups. Elbows graze your side body. Nice and tight, nice and controlled. Think of pressing your hips forward and your body moves in one straight line. Nice work. You're stronger each and every time. If your heels are up towards your glutes like mine, it adds a little more resistance because it's as if your heels, your legs are extra weight. If you put them on the floor like this, it gives you a little more support a little less resistance, okay? Still, same focus, hips are tucked under, hips are pressing forward, bodies are moving together. You're almost done. Heels in tight. One more. Triceps, toes, grab your jump rope. Maybe you're hopping, maybe you're marching. Nice work. You have one more minute, then you get a minute break. You actually have 50 more seconds, five zero, and then a break. Okay, the next circuit, we have some tricep dips. So you can either do that on the floor or I have my ottoman right here, I'm gonna use that. You can have a chair, a couch, whatever it is, will work. But yes, we're not through with our triceps. Told you I like working my triceps. And we're doing that here today. Her entire arm, 25 seconds. Remember, you can always be marching if you need to. 20 seconds, smile. Shoulders on your back. Shoulders away from your 15 seconds. Yes. I'm right there. We're in it. Then just one more circuit. One more 10 minute circuit. And then a quick burnout. Three, two, one. Done. Okay. Sip of water. Like I said, if you want, you can grab like a couch, a chair. I have my ottoman here. And I'm going to use that for tricep dips. Okay, I'm gonna show you the moves. You still have 45 seconds of rest. Remember, don't sit down, just kind of walk it outside to side. Okay, 
So first one, shoulder press. You'll have one weight in each hand, arms come to 90, and then press right back up. Next move, overhead tricep extension, elbows by your side. You can either hold one weight just like that, or you can take two weights together and you go like that, okay? Depending on what you have there for you. And then we're coming down into plank jacks. I'm gonna move my mat up, plank jacks. Okay, Woo. And then tricep dips. So either up on something, or you can take it right here on the floor. And then jump rope. Here we go. Shoulder presses, I'm grabbing tens. Let's go, press and lower. Yes, no worries. If you don't remember any of those, that's fine. I just like give you a preview of what's to come so you have a little bit of an idea. Breathe. Okay, we're working our shoulders. We're gonna go right into triceps, overhead tricep Woo, extension. Yes, I told you we're not through with our triceps here. 30 seconds. These weights feel heavy because at this point in the workout, we're getting tired. You can always alternate or reduce your weight as needed, okay? Yes, so you do whatever works for you. Strengthening your entire upper body. We have 10 more seconds. Breathe. Woo! Okay, you're gonna bring your weights together or one weight, and then you're just overhead. Press and lift. Yes, okay. Elbows in close, and you bend and extend. Ooh, I need to reduce. Going down to 115 pound here. Yes, okay, that's a little better. I'm gonna have to go even lower. My arms are toast. I can't even begin to tell you. They're like jello. Okay, I'm quickly going back down. I told you. They're toast. They're jello. They're feeling it. Okay, I'm gonna try to push through with this. I'm gonna try not to go down more. So now I have one 10 pound weight between my hands. Elbows are a hinge once again. 15 seconds, and then our plank jacks. Wow. Breathe. Yes, slow on the way down. Slow on the way up, okay. Plank jacks, here we go. Out and in, you can always tap it side to side as well, okay? If you don't wanna hop here. Okay, your arms are gonna feel this because the weight is in your arms. Heart rate's gonna get high. Woo! Soft the bend in your elbows. You don't want to lock out your elbows here. Lock out your joints. You can alternate, like I just said, tap, tap, hop, hop, okay? Whatever you need to do, just get through it. You can always just hold the plank or come down to your knees. Yes. Feeling this. Everything's on fire. 15 seconds. Push through. I keep alternating between taps and jacks. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Woo! Wow. Okay. I have my ottoman right here. Elbows are going to go on it. Not elbows. Hands on it. Feet in front. You bend and extend. Just like that. Elbows directly behind you. The further your feet are out in front of you, the more intense. So I have my feet in pretty close because I am, my arms are just screaming at me. No joke. Yes. Nice work. You have 20 seconds. As you can see, I pause at the top because I'm getting tired. And I'm getting, my muscles are fatiguing really fast. Yes, jump ropes next. And then one more time through this circuit. Okay, come on up. You can march if you need to at this point. I'm gonna still try to half it out. Yes, keep going, keep working here. Nice work. Breathe. This is intense, I know. If you have 40 seconds, 
Then we're gonna repeat these four moves one more time through. Stay with me. Shoulder presses are up next in 30 seconds. That's where we're going. Start to visualize these last five minutes of the circuit. Then get a one minute break. Then we're gonna do a quick two minute arm burnout. That's it. Two minutes. Nice work. You have 10 seconds. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, set those down. I'm grabbing my tens, but I'm gonna have my fives nearby. Shoulder press, go. Press and lower. Yes. Smile, breathe. Five moves. Five minutes left of the circuit. I'm a sweaty mess. My arms are on fire. They're becoming like jello. We're building strength, building muscle, revving up our metabolism. We've worked our heart as well. That's why I love circuit training, having these cardio bursts in here. It also keeps us, our minds here and focused. Nice. 12 seconds. Beautiful. That's it. Okay, I'm setting one weight down. I have my 10 between my hands and I bend and extend. Elbows by your ears. Nice work. Soft bend of your knees. Yes. Keep going. I'm gonna try to make it to 30 seconds with this weight and then I'm switching. I'm gonna do a drop set and grab my fives because I cannot keep my form. Okay, 30 seconds, quick set down, grab my five, and then I keep going. Yes, nice work. You have 20 seconds, you see how quick that was? So no time to let the muscle get a rest. We're just quickly switching our weight so that we can keep our form and keep the muscle burning. Keep it engaged and fatigue it here. Last one, okay, plank jacks. Make sure you have your room, hands underneath your shoulders, legs go out and in. Now remember, you can also tap it side to side. Tuck your hips under. You could also hold your plank. You could also come to your knees, whatever it is. Just keep moving or stay still with muscle engagement. Like I said, if you wanna hold your plank, that's fine. You do you. We're at that 30 second mark. Last plank jacks of the workout. Yes. Maybe close your eyes. You focus. Squeeze all your muscles. 20 seconds right here. Woo! Yes. I'm alternating taps and plank jacks. But I'm staying in it. I'm not quitting. We modify our rest. But we keep going. That's it. Woo! Okay, tricep dips, and then jump rope. And then a minute break. Here we go. Yes, bend, extend. Nice. Elbows behind you. I have my feet in close because my arms are gonna give out. <laughs> yes, nothing else to it. My arms cannot take any more. They're fatiguing fast and strong. We've already been doing this for 30 minutes. 20 seconds right here. As you can see, I'm pausing at the top, 15 seconds. Navel in, back is nice and close to my ottoman. Woo! Five, four, three, woo! Two, one, okay, jump rope. This is it, march or bounce. Then you get a minute break, then a quick burnout. Yes, nice work. The burnout either uses light weights or no weights at all. We 
We're just gonna do some arm circles to burn it up. I love to end upper body day like that. Ready? 30 seconds and then one minute. Smile, little hops on the balls of your feet. You can and you will. Maybe you're marching, but maybe you wanna hop it out with me to finish. Woo! Yes. 15 seconds right here, right now. You ready? Countdown's coming. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, done. Wow. Okay, you get one minute. And then just a quick little burnout. You can either use a light set of weights or no weights at all. Just stay with me here. It's a three minute burnout. I know I said it too, but we have a three minute burnout. It'll give us a total of 35 minutes of upper body work. Yes. Nice job. I'm going to do with this with no weights at all, but choose you. You do you. I wouldn't go any higher than three pounds because our arms are gonna stay lifted the entire three minutes, okay? You have 15 more seconds, breathe. Maybe get a sip of water. Remember, don't just sit down. You can see I'm still moving. That's what I want you to do, okay? We're just letting our heart rate come down a little bit. Okay, send your arms out, flatten out your palms. Two, one, go. Okay, so just rotate. I'm rotating forward, but you can choose either direction. And then we're gonna reverse here. But I have my palms flat, little circles, okay? Arms are straight, shoulders are away from your ears. Yeah, so we have three minutes right here in this motion. If you'd like a light set of weights, feel free. But I think three minutes is going to feel tough here. Okay, reverse. I mean, we're 30 seconds in. Okay, so now you're gonna feel this in your upper back a little bit if you were going forward. Now we're going, I'm going back. So if you're doing the same direction as I am, you're gonna feel this in your upper back a little bit more as it pulls your shoulder blades together. Hips are heavy. 15 seconds of this, but you're not gonna let your arms drop. I'll let you know. Keep going. Stay strong. I love to work our shoulders this way. Okay, so now we're gonna make our circles bigger and we're gonna point our fingers down. Yep, so just now big circles, fingers are down. And I'm still going in that same direction backwards, but no worries, we'll come forward. Woo, my upper back is on fire. Yes, and we have a minute and 40, no, we just had 45 seconds left. So yes, it is just a two minute burnout. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm all over the place today, but that's okay. Okay, go forward. Okay, 30 seconds here. I was right the first time when I said two minutes. I don't know why I questioned myself. Sometimes that happens in life when, you know, no one's perfect, we're all human but I hope you feel this. So now we're going forward, nice big circles here. My upper back is on fire. Yes. Three, two, one. Okay, that's it. You're done, shake it out. Yes, we're not gonna do much of a stretch right now. So I have stretching videos that here on my channel. I'll link some mobility and stretching. Make sure that you stretch these muscles that you just worked, okay? you need to let your heart rate come down that was amazing let me know in the comments below how you like this video if you want more like it i certainly enjoyed it i like burning out my upper body through circuits it was tough we got our cardio in there as well so like subscribe and let me know in the comments what you'd like to see more on my channel because this is our community working together healthy like-minded people just to be happy and healthy that's our goal in life okay so have a great rest of your day goodbye everyone